Good afternoon, parents and students. It's Friday, April 3rd, and I hope that everyone is healthy and safe at, at your homes. We're going to be making this announcement today to give you some clarification about grading. And we're making every effort that we can to communicate with you. And we know that you're getting ready to go out on your spring break here. And we know that that spring break will probably look a little bit different and some work will probably be continuing to be done with some of your courses and some of your work, your schoolwork. So I'm going to informally, as I've done before in these videos, just run through some slides and run through some information. And it'll be on an, in an informal basis, so it's not going to be perfect, but bear with me here, and I'm going to be talking to you about grading at uh, all levels here. So I'm, a, I'm going to get started. Originally, we would have had a week with students in classrooms before the extended end of the quarter. And so we, we decided to extend that quarter till April 17th. We're not quite sure about the return at this point. It doesn't look likely, but we're not positive at this point. So we're just going to keep working here and doing our very best. And I know that you're doing that as our families and students. So we do truly appreciate that. I'll start by clarifying what we're going to be doing at the Vermilion Elementary School. The end of the third nine weeks will be April 17th. All students will pass the third quarter with a P or an M and no ends will be given. The fourth quarter student assignments will not be graded. All students will receive a P at Vermilion Elementary School. Each family has a different situation. And our expectation is that all students will do their best work towards the progression of the grade level standards. The P represents those efforts. Thank you for all you're doing for the families at VES to work with your students. The middle school grading clarifications at Sailor Way. The end of the third nine weeks is April 17th. All students will pass the third nine weeks with an A, B, or C at Sailor Way Middle School using their existing grades. All students will receive a P, which represents passing for the standards in the fourth quarter. So I hope that this is helpful for both the elementary school and the middle school in clarifying what the grading situation is going to be. And I hope that it's helped to re relieve some of the anxiety that you might have over these grades. We tried to make this as fair and equitable as possible under these circumstances. I'm going to move now to the high school, which is a little bit more complex. Our team has worked real hard to work on all of these clarifications, but the high school was a particular challenge. The rationale for changing the grades at the high school is the following. The grading between the third and quarter four as part of the same semester needed to be consistent and it needed to be continuous. The work that both the teacher and the student completed during those last few weeks, we believe needed to count as part of the semester. This is the new grading scale that we're now going to institute. All students will pass the third and fourth quarters with a grade of a C or above using this following scale. An A is going to be 81 to 100%. A B, 61 to 80%. A C, 20 to 60%. If you don't have a grade of at least 20%, you'll get a P in lieu of a letter grade. We're going to work with you as a team to help you to pass. Our goal is to make sure that you're passing as a student. So we'll keep working with you, but we're asking that every one of you take this as an opportunity to get better as a student and take all of the work that the teacher is giving you and use this as part of your education and make yourself as best as you can as a student and as a person during this time. VHS, grade point average, weighted courses, etc. Only semester one will count for cum cum cumulative grade point average 
and class rank. Weighted courses will not be weighted in semester two. A report card will be issued at the end of semester two only. There will not be any honor roll for quarters three and quarters four. Moving forward, late work will be accepted for quarter three until April 17th and will be accepted for all of quarter four starting April 20th through the date when we conclude the school year. A maximum of two to three assignments will be entered into the grade book a week for each course. These assignments should not take students any longer than 30 minutes to complete. CCP and advanced placement courses, of course, are the exception. Live sessions will be limited to two per week per course. Final exams will not be given. I hope that this has helped to relieve some of your questions and anxieties about grades and what this will look like. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our principals, send them an email, contact them and let them know what your questions are. We'll do our very best to continue communicating with you and helping in any way we can. So send those questions to us. And I really hope that you take some time for yourself during this break time. I know that it won't look as usual. I know that you'll probably still be doing some of this schoolwork to do your best to bring your grades up to where you need them to be and you want them to be. Thanks again for all your help in all of this challenge that we're going through. And we truly look forward to seeing you soon.